Why stop now, folks? Okay. I need to keep going with you with with this. And so we have some great functionality in this rig. And we have this great controller here. And then we have this here. Oops. This waist control. So it's beautiful. Okay. And we'll fix this. We know that those arms are flipping because whenever it goes past the rotation axis or whenever it passes, it will flip. So we obviously we know that it's gonna be like that. So this is gonna be my first lecture, y'all. Now normally I lecture, lecture, lecture. I like to lecture. But this is not a dialogue, it is not a monologue, it is a lecture. So I'm gonna say some very <laughs> um very foreboding things, okay? <laughs> so what I'm gonna say is that I'm talking about the spine right now. And what you're gonna find and just listen to the voice of experience and reason on this is that everybody wants IK spines. They, it's just like IK, you would think, is that you can grab it and you can grab the back or the chest and just pull it along and it will, it will make your life easier and things of that such. Uh, but it actually, uh, but it actually doesn't. That's because of the that's popping there. But uh, it's it actually does not make your life easier. And I'll show you and demonstrate. I my my recommendation. And I mentioned this before. Is the FK spine. Why? Because first thing, electric image does not have an IK spine setup. It's just, it's no way, it's no parts of it in electric image. And you have a regular uh, IK setup, okay? Second, what do you get out of an IK spine that you would not get out of an FK spine? Well, the most you could do is you can't take in, I'll demonstrate this, and I, and I want you to understand this now. So, so the short of it is, Leave these as they are and just use those as they are. You can take these and make them red for now on. And those are your controllers. The only thing is in my other uh, setups that I use an FK spine, I have a bunch of little bones going up along this and they're rotation constraint near these. And that's... Um, it gives me more functionality and the smoothness and the curvature of the body. Now, and to make it easy on you, I have not, we're not going to do, do that now because it's going to just be more time consuming and you generally want to just get this rig done and have a great rig to, to use. And so if you just use these, bones are animatable, they're fine. And let me show you uh, something about them. So I showed you the functionality of the rotation of those and of the hips and the independent waist. Here's the functionality of this, okay? No problem there. And then you have this backwards. So you have some more there. And then you can even go some more and use it there. And then you have this here. And you know, you have all of this rotation control, okay? It's just fantastic. So what more could you ask for, okay? So that works. You can just, you know, I mean, the guy is bending over backwards for you, okay? <laughs> so that's gonna, that should be enough. No, I did not find the undo button. <laughs> so that should do it. That should be enough. And it gives you functionality. You can go on about your rig, about your business, and it's not a problem. And so I have watched, I've done tech support for other people who wanted to use IK Spines because you, 
you know, the obvious assumption is that it would be easier. Well, let me show you how easy it will be. If you just click these right here, let's even go to this end joint uh, here. So here to here, let me show you what happens. We go and I'll hit Command Shift and O. Now I have an IK at the end of this joint, okay? And it's going up. And so now I move it, except what has happened? I actually only, I have less rotation. Matter of fact, I almost have no rotation. And matter of fact, this is on backwards. I've never even seen it do this. So it's going the wrong way. So it, like what I mentioned with the irons, you have to lead it in a direction. So that's the first mishap. And that's one I've never even seen before. And so let's lean the rotations a little bit for, uh, forward with this so that we we uh, we don't have those problems. So let me just go here, here, and notice how easily I clicked on those three. So I lean them forward, and I'll just go ahead and add the IK again. So now it leans forward, okay, and it'll straighten out. And now I want to lean them backwards. What do I get? It doesn't twist backwards. It's a rotation plane. It only rotates in one direction, you know. So you don't get any advent. There's no, there's no reason. It's not advantageous, and it doesn't. Even if you turn it to the side, notice how straight the spine is. It's just really just moving on like a board. It's not really helping anything, and so you don't get any functionality. You don't even get, you know, it just. It's not better, and then you don't have as much control of it as you would with this, whereas you could just bend, take this, like, bend a little bit, twist it a little bit, bend a little bit, twist a little bit more, bend a little bit more this way, backwards or forwards, you know, or sideways, whatever. You know, you get a lot of control. And again, you don't get a real twist on that, on the um, IK. You lose a little bit of a twist. So you can't twist the center ones. There's no way to twist it. It'll do a twist, and I better show you, uh, just to make sure that, um, you know, even if you hooked it up, uh, I, that's enough of that. Well, I. I, you just don't have half of the functionality than you would have if you just go ahead and use these and uh, it's just it's just better all around and so that's why I have often used it but I've had the one advantage of using uh, a little bit more of um, of um I gotta demonstrate this here so if I go here, I can't twist. I can I twist the one bone. The both bones rotate. There's no twist in between this one and this one. There's a twist between this and this. Okay, so it's just there's just very little advantage uh, for an IK. And if you want to go and burn yourself out on trying to do uh, set it up, it's just terrible. Now. With all that said, I have done one and I've set it to where it's functional, but that's only because I've used it in other programs and I understand what is really involved in, in it. And so it's a lot involved in it. And even that, it really, it almost had me. Okay, so it almost had it. So I have a true IK setup. And then it's not the most superb. It's, it's, it's one that works, but it's not the most superb. So let me just add one more. You would think that you can add an IK from here to here, and then that would be enough rotation, but you would still lose a, a, a bending forward side to side. So it just, it's not, it's not worth it. And that's why I use the FK. And so I have these as a controller, and then I have some controllers in the back. Now, no, what I would do now is probably change the way I add those controllers. But really, this is the best uh, 
set up for it. And so the only thing that you could do to improve this bones here, and let me mention that most of the bones for a cartoon character, you only need two bones anyway, okay? And if you check for Ed Merlos or any of those, that's basically probably what he had. And um, so, uh, so in general, and if you go and put a bunch of IK and rig, then you got all the rotation problems and all of that. So it's just, you know, it's a, a simple of a uh, matter of KISS. You know what that is, uh, K-I-S-S, -S, you know, I won't repeat it. But <laughs> anyway, so that'll work for that. And if you wanted to put controllers out of here, it's a bunch of extra rigging that for a character like this that you don't have to do. So it's just a real fast way uh, to just, just, just leave this as it is. It works. The spine is works, you know. And now, when it comes to the neck, that's not so bad, okay? So if you want to put an IK, you know, from the neck, you know, you can. And I haven't done it in a long time. I usually put one IK in it, but I don't know how it's going to behave. You can go ahead and try it, and it should be okay from like, uh, I don't know. If you, you can put it from here to here. Well, see, then you'll lose a rotation there. So you might want to put it from here to here. And because then there, there's a couple of things that the uh, movements that the neck do does straight from side to side that might, may or may not help. And so, uh, let's see. So go here. You might like this. You know. But you can always grab it from the bottom and do that. You know. Uh, this. Then this. You know. You know. But considering you can have an extra control here. Oh, there's a. There must be a locked neck. Hot neck monster. <laughs> so, you know, at some point you can just go here and just, you know, move that. And then you have the IK. And I don't like to animate directly on IK, but if you did that, you could. Uh, you can get away with it. Okay? So, that's what I have to say about it. So, you can get that, and you can pretty much, you know, the head wobbles a little. And then, you know, you can get into heavy stuff with that. We're not going to go heavy into that. We're not going to go heavy into the neck, uh, into head controls, and all of that. I mean, if you want that there, you know, and then you have... I don't know how it's going to handle the rotation. And so if you start getting into rotation problems again, you know, then you got to put a, a pole vector and be concerned about how it rotates. And then, you know, it seems to be okay. Uh, but you never know. It can get to one thing and then all of a sudden it starts to freak out. Okay. Good enough. So I'll let that be for right now. If it, the minute it gives me a half an instant of a problem, then I'm going to get rid of it. Okay. So there is our discussion on the, uh, the bag. We can, you can break those out animate it and so you're already done all the way up to the neck so the best thing to do now is um the final the final uh controls for the hands and so i'm gonna leave this as it and i'm gonna as this as it is and then i'll come back with something to start to deal with the hands okay thank you